Hello YouTube, back again with another video. So, yeah, today I'm going to test out this Samsung 950 Pro M.2 MVME drive onto my uh, HP Z400 right there. And the reason I bought this drive is that people have been saying that uh, you can boot natively off this drive and it would it has like a legacy legacy bios so the hp z400 and the x58 system should be able to detect it no problem and along with the nvme drive i also bought a uh, one of these m.2 nvme adapter it converts from a pci lane a x4 pci lane to an NVMe drive. <clears throat> I know some of you be, might say, but hey, the the HP Z400 or the X58 system only support PCIe generation two um, times two uh, times four slot. But then you think about it, PCIe uh, generation two per lane, it has a bandwidth. Of 500 megabytes so if you times that by 4 PCIe um, Gen 2 X4 there should be around bandwidth of 2 gigabytes per second so I'm gonna test that out once I install it so I'm gonna install it if I turn on my light here I'm gonna install it right there above the graphics card I was going to put it below the graphics card, but then after I bought the uh, NVMe adapter, I realized that uh, <laughs> my graphics card is actually blocking the third PCI slot because it's a three slot card. So I'm going to put it in there, wink wink, and then uh, see whether I can actually get the BIOS to, de to detect the NVMe drive. So I installed it now. Just put it in like that. It kind of just dangles in mid there like that. I don't know. I'll try to find a solution for this later. Uh, but for now, let's just try and boot it on. Press the power on button. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Can't think it's fun. There you go. It's on. There you go. I'm into system BIOS now. And then. Uh, <sighs> See storage option. Nope, that's not it. Boot order. Um, <laughs> it's not detecting it. Hmm, interesting. Oh, guys! So after half an hour of testing, I finally got this adaptive thing to work. Okay, so it's nothing to do with the slots that I use here. I actually switched the graphics card and uh, uh, this adapter around, just the order of it. But then, when I pressed the on button earlier, <laughs> it wouldn't detect it and I was shitting myself. I was like, I spent 90 quid on this drive, this 950 drive, and then another 20 quid on this adapter. I'm like, surely, surely it has to work. So, um, after 30 minutes of testing and trial and error, I mean, I got it to detect, got it, got it to work in Windows and it can detect the drive. I can set MBR, um, partition, not a problem. So here's what you do guys. And <laughs> took me ages to get it working. So by default in the HP Z400, let me focus on here. The SATA simulation is set as RAID and AHCI. And you shouldn't have that setting on. Instead, to get it to detect the drive, you need to set it to IDE detection. And then reboot your system. And then in the boot order, it should detect the N1 Samsung SSD 950 Pro. 
Yeah, so I've got it installed uh, and it's getting detected in Windows just fine. Make sure you download the NVMe driver uh, to get it detected in Windows. Then you redo a, let me turn the light off here. You do a speed test, you can see how fast this speed, uh, how fast this drive is. PCIe generation 2 speed this is. Um, but this is um, running off a, a PCIe uh, X4 slot and as I guessed it around the same speed that's not too bad right that's not too bad at all so I'm gonna be cloning um, my hard drive um, my OS drive onto this and see if it boots up. So this is actually recorded after filming the installation. Um, just for a quick update on the sequential write speed and the read speed of the NVMe drive. Um, I was using AS SSD benchmark earlier, and then uh, for some reason it was only the write speed was shown um, only 700 uh, write speed. But um, using the Samsung Magician uh, benchmark, I actually managed to get um, 1,500 megabytes per second. So uh, I don't really know which one is true. I don't know why this is only half speed. Um, but yeah, quick update. So uh, booting up Samsung data migration just to migrate from my uh, OS disk into the NVMe drive nope click on the wrong one this, the, this is the NVMe so it should take a while because I got uh, around 80 gigabytes of um, data um, so yeah we'll see if this works and uh, see if I can boot into Windows and there you have it guys after cloning it using the Samsung uh, drive migration software got the system C drive OS that drive using the Samsung SSD 950 Pro this is amazing remember to guys make sure you want to get it detected by the x58 HP Z400 system, make sure to set it as IDE, IDE guys, that took me around 30 hours, for, not, not 30 hours, 30 minutes to get right, and I was completely shitting myself because I thought I wasted 110 quid, but no, make sure you set it to IDE drive, and then the system should be able to boot off it.